want a better world, a more just and peaceful world. This journey requires the courage and love to transform ourselves to be part of the solution. Self-transformation begins with knowing who we are, where we come from, and where we are headed. It starts in your home, with your family. It starts in your neighborhood, with the people around you, your elders. It starts with your, your friends, uh, your other children, communicating. Uh, it all is about working together. It's all about, again, achieving a sense of understanding and compassion, uh, a sense of humanity, uh, a sense of the rights of others, as well as respect. All these things are part of makes a wholesome and a full, mature human being. When we find ourselves, again, only thinking about me, only thinking about when me becomes more important than we, uh, we've got a problem that's going to be very difficult to overcome. When students are given the opportunity to explore creating an ethical society, what is centered or should be centered is a, that question, what does an ethical society look like? And when you bring that question into the classroom, that act within itself is transformational. And the reason I'm saying that is because a lot of students experience education with this assumption that they're not in a political space, that they're in a quote unquote neutral space. And that's just not true. In order to move forward as a country, and in order to promote and protect our democracy, we must be able to look at each other as brothers and sisters in the world house. People have to start looking for what really is the truth. Evaluating, reading, talking, getting other points of views, you know, comparing, looking at history, you know, because history has a tendency to repeat itself. We really do have to put something down that makes us happy and pick up work. And it might mean struggling with people in the circle to help them achieve what they can be in their nobler selves. Or you might be the one in a circle that's getting coaching and getting love and is at a point where you have to decide to take it and struggle with yourself through the comment. I don't think we're going to vote our way into radical change, right? I think that it's a tool we have to use, but I think it's organizing um, and it's organizing across differences and I would say always to get to new destinations, you're going to have to take new paths as well. When we find and use our voices, the world makes a lot more sense. Our actions assist others to make positive change. We unify and bring people together by being more civically active. We learned that self-transformation comes through being civically engaged and that through our struggles and through our lows and ups that it really takes being able to step out of yourself and be a part of something bigger than yourself and that you haven't really made it until you're able to bring someone else with you. We need to be able to think of those around us and recognize that a lot of our peers go through very similar struggles and that if we're able to step out of ourselves and recognize them we can really make an impact in our circles and in our communities. And I submit to you that when you look at those who have really been out there working in the trenches, it's been a sacrifice. It's been hard, but they've survived and moved forward and been joyful in the experience that they've been able to make a difference. And making a difference, at the end of the day, is what it's all about. Improving lives and making places a little bit better than when you, you stepped into it. This is how we begin our self-transformation. Read your history. Study videos about your history. Talk to your elders about their experiences and views. Create a journal. Write daily about the world and how we relate to it. Speak up often and help others understand history. Be willing to get out of your comfort zone.